somewhere, I can just go there, you know? I don't have anything tying me down anywhere. I got a dog, that's all I need, you know? <laughs> She's enough responsibility. Erica is one of the crusties, a group mostly made of young people with ages ranging from early teens to late 20s. They are homeless and travel across the country, hopping onto the backs of freight trains following the seasons. One of the most popular places to go in the summer is New York. They hang out mostly downtown, in Tompkins Park during the daytime, and sleep on St. Mark's. I used to go to Philly a lot. When I was in Philly, when I was 13, I met some traveling kids. I was like, whoa, I was like, this is what life is fucking about, you know? So I left with them. This is like my first time meeting, um, like, oh, I would have to say this. Week. I literally live off the way society. Example, just last night, me and my buddy went dumpster diving, and outside of Dwayne Reed, we found literally a bag full, a trash, like a big black trash bag full of fresh bread. And it's a completely legit means of getting food. Like, why the fuck not? If stores literally throw it away. Usually just panhandle, or like, for a while, before I got Layla, I was a bike messenger. I delivered weed. <laughs> I was getting just for delivery fee, I was getting fifty dollars house pay, like just fifty dollars no matter what, and then ten dollars for every fifty bag I sold. It's a lifestyle without the complicated responsibilities of societal norms. There's no jobs, no family to take care of, no school. But it also means you have to find different types of physical security. With Layla, I really don't get too worried. You know, like before I'd always like try to crash with like one or, one or two other people, like always. But with her, like I'll sleep out like anywhere. The hardest part is dealing with cops, honestly. Like, yeah, like cops and rain, and that's about it. The other than that, I enjoy it. Krusty Row is a line of benches curving around the west side of Tompkins Park. In the past, it was known as a spot for all the homeless to hang out. Recently, cops have been harassing teens that sleep there, and the park now closes late at night. They just hassle you so bad. You sit down somewhere, you can't, you can't even sit on the sidewalk. You know, they try to give you a ticket for it. Recently, Erica joined the Occupy Wall Street demonstration and left Layla with a friend to keep her safe. However, the friend never returned Layla, and Erica is searching for her companion. You know, since my dog is missing, all these kids have all gotten together, and we made fucking signs trying to get my dog back. Number, but she knows how to get a hold of me. Some people that are on the road, they want to get off. They want to stop and do something else. But me, no. I'm enjoying what I'm doing right now, and I fucking love it. I can't imagine doing anything else. In February 2011, the Coalition for the Homeless counted almost 40,000 homeless people staying in shelters in New York City. This does not count the thousands of homeless that sleep on the streets. There is currently no accurate measurement of New York City's unsheltered homeless population. Erica says that her next stop is Virginia Beach, away from New York's harsher winter weather.